Hey everyone, and welcome back to another game of Qatar. I am the Wanderer, and today we are playing another ranked game on our road to number one. Uh, we have the second pick here today on a pretty uh, interesting board. There's really not much ore, which makes me think that Red may take this 8 4 11 as the first spot with good wheat and the only really okay ore spot. Oh, interesting. They've gone the 8 5 10 which I actually think is a pretty solid pick uh, just because that wheat port uh, is what they're going to be going after and there's going to be a bunch of wheat on the board. So that's probably why they've opted to not take the ore. So for me, there's a couple of options, I think. For me, it's got to either be the 8, 4, 11 or the 6, 9, 10. They're the only two. Uh, my reason for the 6, 9, 10 is that wood port could be pretty juicy and this is really the only good wood spot. Uh, that being said, this is the only good ore spot. So something like, I mean, 8, 4, 11 to the 3 for 1, it leaves us needing um, sheep and brick on the way back, which we're not going to get. Uh, so instead, it could be that, like if we take the 6, 9, 10, we really just need some brick on the way back, but I don't think we get a good brick spot. I mean, something like 6, 9, 10, 6, 4, 2, I don't hate, gives us the joint 6s for the road. Uh and you still get on that ore on the second. That's actually kind of what I'm thinking here. The 6, 9, 10 over to the wood port. And then, yeah, you know what? I actually think that might be the play. Uh, but then do we get it as the second pick? Actually, no, I don't. As, if we were the third pick, I'd be doing that. But as the second pick, I actually don't think it's right. I just don't think we get on the 6 of brick as the as the second pick. So I think we go the 8, 4, 11. And we'll point up just because we will need that three for one although i will i would like this eight ten as an expansion but could get taken so blue takes the five nine ten uh, i guess with the strong sheep port uh which leaves orange now with two in a row so i think orange probably goes six nine ten maybe six four three or six four two probably those two i would say that's not a bad setup yeah there's the six nine ten Ops to go with a 5-4-3 instead for the free road. So they want that wheat port. So that could be interesting. So it puts pressure on red now for their last pick. Uh, because <laughs> there is that free road available here. I don't know if they'll want to take it. But they could do it just to make sure they get that wheat port. So I think blue's got to be taking ore here. Uh, as there's no better sheep to go on for their sheep port. Uh, so it's either the 4 three, 11, Or they may opt to go... Uh, the 642 and go down to get this on some wood up uh, it's down here yeah they end up going the 4113 so they're not on good numbers but they've pretty much gone full all wheat sheep so we've gone with the 8411 so we need what sheep and brick right so for me something like this uh so, this is tempting, right? So the nine four two, and then over to the sheep board to get on the five is good. But then also the six four two. But then is all that brick necessary? Is the question. I don't think so. Um, it's just I don't like that our numbers eight four eleven and nine four two is pretty gross. Whereas we could go here and go the extra road. I think. Yeah, I think that's the play. Because then, yeah, I think that's the play. And I'm happy just to build that one extra road to get to the 5-2. I just think that being on that 6 is better. Yeah, red does take the 6-5 just to guarantee the free road. Uh, it also, that like orange took a risk there uh, and it didn't pay off. Uh, interesting. Okay, we need wood. So red has, red has a wood. I think we've got to be stealing from red. Perfect. Uh, and then I think for us... Oh, I just I have just noticed that brick port actually, uh, which is kind of something that I didn't think about and maybe is actually kind of big for our game. And blue, I don't think is, yeah, I think we need it. That brick port's going to be big. I just thought about that then, to be honest. There's the nine and the eight. Orange drops the road out to the wood port, and the nine hits again. All right, let's we need, we need an eleven. Another eight. Um, everyone's got wheat. I wonder... Um, I think I might wait one more turn to request a trade here because I think blue will give us sheep for brick. Uh, but we just need need potentially get a wood first. And the eight again. So a bunch of wheat on the board. There's a three. Another eight. Wow, okay. Uh, we're on seven cards. That's fine. And then the five hits. 
Do you think we could get something like this from blue? Uh, I think I take that with blue. I, I, I actually think I take it, to be honest. Uh, it gives us that, that brick port. I know the ore is kind of rare, but they're also producing ore, so it's not like I'm giving it to orange and uh, red for nothing. Uh, and that gave us the sheep that we needed for that settlement, so I think that was fair. And then the 10 hits. So blue does get a city with that, uh, and it does mean this floor is going to be blocked a lot early game, but uh, blue will be playing dev cards, so they'll be able to take it off. Orange settles on the wood port. And then the nines. The nines and eights have been popping off this game. There's the four. Um, I kind of want to pass... Uh, do you think... I just no one, no one will give up an ore. Um, I don't really want to pop a dev here either. I, I want to wait for the city because, yeah, I think, you know, we get another four or six and we can two for one. There's a six. Perfect. Okay, we've got the city in hand. This blue pops a dev. There's another eight. Let's just pray we don't seven out. Orange drops a road. Nine hits. So many nines to start this game. Uh, red four for ones for the brick. Settles on the wheat port. And there's the eight. Okay, so let's... Let's two for one for the ore, and I think we definitely city the, the six for two. Yeah. Definitely city the six for two. Up that brick production with that brick port. Uh, it's looking good. So my only issue is, we well, we have plenty of access to the three for one, but do we need the three for one now, or are we do we do we instead... Like, we could take it here, up our brick, or do we try and get to this 5-2? I think the 5-2 is better. We get the 3-for-1, and we get access to sheep. Those 4s are huge. That's another city if we don't 7 out. Uh, as red 2-for-1s and drops a road. And the 3 hits. I think I think the city here again, to be honest. I think we need to up... Oh, do we need to up the wheat here? I think we do. Yeah. I think we just city again. Those 4s have been absolutely massive. We've got two cities up, 8, 4, 11. I mean, the 4 is going to get blocked. I more wanted the city for the, the 8, and then if that 11 does hit, we can uh, start building some roads with our good brick production as blue cities again. 9 hits. Jeez, it's literally been 9s and 8s, and the 4s hit a few times as well. What I'd really like is those 6s just to start popping off because it doesn't give blue anything, and it just, it's just going to fill us with brick. There's the 8 again. So much wheat. Uh, red two for ones for a sheep and passes. There's another eight. Uh, I think we'll have to four for one here just in case blue's holding onto a mono. Uh, so I think I have four for one. And do I want a four for one here for some sheep and then hold, I think? Or do I want to do it for the wood? Uh, just then we can actually start building. I think I'll do it for the wood because then we can start building towards this five two. another nine so many eights and nines these dice stats are going to be interesting blue plays the aggressive knight probably going to go for our wood here so that blocked the well, blocks the eight interesting okay uh, i guess it's our only wheat oh they were looking for brick didn't have any blue four for ones for the brick and settles on the sheep port so they're pretty damn strong now there's the six and then they four for uh, orange four for ones for a sheep settles on the six three twelve eight hits that block hurts <laughs> And they uh, red two for one settles. Everyone's moving along at a pretty steady pace in this game. Uh, they two for one for a brick, and drop another road. They must want this nine four. Okay, definitely be blocking blue here. Uh, I think it's got to be their wheat. We get a wood. That's perfect. That lets us drop two roads. So we'll road road here uh, to the five two. It's nice, and then we can pass. And then, of course, blue rolls a seven. Uh, so we'll get blocked on the eight again here. So we'll lose our wheat, which is a little frustrating. There's the 11. That's big. Okay. 12 hits for orange. And then we hit the four. That's 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 such a big roll. Uh, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to hold. Like dropping... Or well, we could drop one road, actually, I guess. Uh, actually, I think probably dropping a road is better. Uh, do we want this three for one or this three for one is the question. Uh, just because I think, I think we want to be upping the brick. Yeah, I think we do drop the road. We could try and race red for this spot actually. 
Maybe that's better because it does extend our road as well. I think maybe that's the better play because we can get the, with the... We're not really needing the three for one at the moment. And that gives us the extra wheat means we're not as blockable. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, there's the eight again. So many eights and nines. Blue has to pass on seven cards. Orange rolls a seven, so I think the four definitely gets blocked. I wonder who he steals from. Ah, dang, he chooses us, which is... I mean, it's 50-50 there, I think. Like, do we say Blue's slightly ahead because they played one extra knight? I don't know. It's pretty close. Uh, we lose an ore, which is a bit annoying, but I'm just honestly glad that the uh, knight's off the eight as orange two for ones for another ore and passes. Here's the six. Perfect. All right, we literally just need uh, an eight here, and we can settle on that five, two. Red two for ones for a brick. Drops a road to the nine, four. And then we hit the nine. Uh, okay, do we think we can get... Do we think we can get a wheat here? Maybe from orange. I think orange would give us a wheat for an ore. Hmm. This is interesting. I could offer two. I don't know if I want to, though. Orange jumps at it. I'm going to go back and offer one and see if orange takes it. If not, I'm going to pass. I think I'm going to pass. I just don't think it's worth giving up two that orange, especially while he's over. Five hits. So blue has... Wow, blue pops two devs. That's a little scary. Three hits. So orange survives. They two for one. Should be able to get a city here. So they should see the six, nine, ten. Yep. Then they drop a road going down to this... Or two roads down to the six, three. Red rolls a seven. I'm hoping we don't get stolen from here. Oh, solo blocks orange. Interesting move and gets the settlement. Okay, I still think blue's the threat here, to be completely honest. Um, yeah, I still think blue's the threat. I think we pop it on the nine and we'll steal from blue. Oh, we get an ore, which is just not what we wanted. Uh, I'd be willing to trade again ore for wheat. Nope. In that case, I'm just going to two for one out brick for the sheep, and I'm going to hold. Eights have dried up a little bit now. Uh, blue plays the knight. Does he block? He probably blocks the four. I don't know. I, I mean, do we get solo blocked here? Yeah, blocks the four. I think we still get stolen from. Yeah, that's fine. And I mean, losing the bricks a little bit annoying, but it's not the end of the world. As that five hits, blue pops another dev. There's the eight. Perfect. Okay. So I don't, I mean, we've got the city in hand. I don't really think sitting the, the four is actually that beneficial, to be honest. Uh, we really need that settlement. Orange passes. So red rolls a seven here. So I, I don't think we get stolen from, I think he blocks the four, but he's got to be stealing from blue. Yeah, that's good. And then red's going to go to connect their road. Inter this is a pretty close game. And the nine hits. This is really frustrating. I don't really want a city here. I think I'm just going to pop a dev, to be honest. Knight, that's completely fine. Orange doesn't... Uh, sorry, blue doesn't play knight. Uh, I'm assuming they probably have one as they hit that 10, though. So they got a bunch of sheep. So they sh uh, we, I'm just worried they've got a road building and we get play out here. Yeah, I literally called it. Oh, thank God he didn't play us. That's fine. If he gets that settlement down, I'm okay with that. Jeez, I was certain we were going to get plowed then as he two for ones and pops another dev. So I think he's got one VP and then that was probably for army. Orange is really butthurt about being stolen from, which, I mean, it is annoying, but <laughs> I don't know. I just, <laughs> it seems a little silly. Here's the six. Okay, that's what we needed. Okay, so we need a brick, uh, uh, some sheep. So blue's got sheep. So I think we'll steal from blue. Uh, we'll move the knight, pop it on probably the nine again. Red drops two roads, so let's play the knight, pop it on the nine, and steal from blue. We get a wood, which is not great, and then we hit a three. Come on, man. Oh, that's annoying. Um, I'm trying to think what we can really do. There's nothing we can really do here. Um, I think we can, surely we can get a sheep from someone, so we'll go brick for sheep. We'll do wood for sheep. I'd even give orange ore for sheep here. Can't do two with blue. There's not a chance. Oh, it's just frustrating. I can't really do anything here. Road's out of the question. Um, we need to pop a dev. So I think I'm just going to two for one for the for the sheep. And I'm just going to pass. 
So blue takes army, so it's probably at nine here. Pops it on the six. Steals from orange. He rolls a six. It's a good block. Unless they pull here, I don't think they can win. Yeah, they're going to pull. Didn't get it. There's a uh, 11. Okay. Orange settles. Two for ones and pops a dev. Red plays a knight, so he's got to be blocking uh, blue here. Perfect. And then the eight hits. Okay, we just need to not seven out here. All right. There's a nine. Man, those nines. Okay, so let's settle. Uh, we have a three for one, so we can city. Uh, I guess that's what we do here. Uh, well, we could dev, but I just don't see how we can win. I mean, we're going to have to probably be taking army, so is this... Nah, let's city up the sheep production. Um, and then hopefully just start popping after this. I just don't... I think it's going to be too little too late, to be completely honest. Blue rolls a seven. Pops it on the six. We probably see stolen from here. Yep, we lose a brick. Plays a year of plenty. Is that GG? Oh, interesting. Didn't have a VP, so um, that must be a knight. Orange plays a knight. Uh, pops it on the ten. That four hits, which is huge for us. But then it did give blue two ore. Orange gives up all of that just for one dev as the five hits. So we can dev next turn, but I think blue's going to win. They just need to be able to city or they can pull for it. Red pops another dev. We roll to nine hits. That's GG. I'll just say GG blue. Let's just pop a dev because there's nothing else we can really do. Uh, we pop the... Um, that and then we pass. Uh, I'll just say, haha, not sure. I'll uh, say so thanks, man. I appreciate it. Uh, as uh, uh, blue seven's out, so I wonder if they can win. Uh, he blocks the nine, which is interesting. I'm assuming he can play. Oh, he's going now. He must be going for the aggressive rob here. Yeah, and it'll be from us, and he'll probably get the ore that he needs, because I think he has... Oh, he steals the sheep. Has to pull, has to pull for it. Oh, man. <laughs> Interesting. Orange plays a knight. Pops it on the 10. Steals from blue. Red plays a knight. It's going to steal from blue as well. Man, that's seven. That could... I mean, nah, surely he'll still be able to win. He's too far ahead. Five hits again. Red pops another dev. We hit the 10. Uh, we're going to have to play the year of plenty here for... What, two, I guess two wheat and pop two devs. Pop, pop. Oh, two VPs, man. <laughs> nah, surely blue wins unless a seven hits here. Nah, there's the four. That'll be GG. I think. It has to be. Yeah, gives that all up. Should be out of city for the win. Yeah, man, we got so close in the end there. Uh, I think he plays the road building. I don't... Oh, for the settlement. Right. I thought he was going to city. Oh, well, okay. That was just for the heck of it, I guess. Oh, we slide back down again, unfortunately. Uh, I think our big mistake in that game was trading with blue a little bit too early. Um, and that that's what cost us. We look at these dice stats, and yet those eights and nines just popped off. Six didn't roll that much, unfortunately, which, you know, would have been huge for us. Uh, res card stats. Look at the dev card stats. Uh, oh, there was... Red must have had the mono then. Um... That could have been dangerous. Red was getting like getting close to army. Those two VPs were massive, though. We nearly snuck that in the end. Uh, activity stats. And then, yeah, we'll look at the resource stats. So I think, yeah, blue had the best production and the best overall resource score. We weren't too far behind, though. Uh, I think overall, not a bad game. I still think when I go back and edit, I'm going to see some mistakes. And obviously, yeah, let me know where you guys think I made a couple of critical errors. But I think I liked our placements at the start. But then, yeah, I think a few early mistakes just made it too easy for blue. But overall, not too mad about that. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. I really appreciate it. And, yeah, we're nearly at 900 subs. So, yeah, please, if you're enjoying the content, if you if you want to, chuck us a sub. It really helps the channel. I uh, appreciate everyone who so far is watching and enjoying. And, yeah, stay tuned. See you in the next one. Cheers, guys.